Odwiedzamy stoisko firmy Powersoft i ciekawostka, która od razu rzuca nam się w oczy i w dodatku wzbudza wielkie zainteresowanie. Spójrzcie na to. To zupełnie nowa koncepcja głośnika do zastosowań w kolumnach basowych. As you know, Powersoft makes amp modules for lots of powered speakers. We've also had some other new technology using differential pressure sensors. Uh, what we're showing here at the show is a conceptual product. Uh, that will be coming soon. We've been working on this for over four years. Um, this is a motor that would replace a conventional voice coil for a large subwoofer. Uh, in this case, it's connected to a 30-inch cone. Uh, it's, this is a positive and negative magnet with a piston flying through the middle. Uh, when mounted in a box, again, this is just for display, Uh, we've gotten uh, up to 145 dB at 30 hertz. Amazing amounts of air can get moved through this motor. Uh, there's a couple other special things about this. Uh, no power compression, extremely low distortion, uh, and basically indestructible. So the idea of burning a voice coil will be a thing of the past. Um, uh, it does have such incredible force that the bracing in the cabinet has to be special and proper. Um, But we're very excited about this. Finally, it's coming out and we'll start to get tested in the field. Uh, we're also developing a companion module um, that is called the M-Drive. Uh, it is basically one channel of a K20 with the DSP to be controlled through Armenia as well. So this is a whole new concept. Uh, looking into the future, uh, part of the theme here at ProLight and Sound 2013 is Innovationville. This is very exciting. This is a game changer. I'd like to show you our new unique multimedia unit that is waterproof and solar powered. We call this Diva. It is a solar powered amplifier with a full range speaker. Uh, it also will have an option for a light and a camera if needed. Uh, it can be powered by a solar panel or over Ethernet of PoE. Uh, you can stream audio to it. You can store audio messages inside of it and trigger them over the wireless network. Uh, it is possible to take photos, take Diva, videos. The intelligent outdoor multimedia system. I knew it would go off. And, and here it is giving us a message that has been pre-programmed on a playlist. So it, it comes with a whole new software package, so it does not run with our amps. And it is a very unique product that has virtually no installation cost due to its being solar powered. Uh, you just attach it to a pole and stream to it, or store the information on a card and trigger messages. It also has a presence sensor that it can actually be triggered by motion uh, to play a message or to do a variety of different options. Uh, it's a very unique unit. We're getting about 115 dB max output uh, from 100 hertz to 15 kilohertz. It's a very unique unit. Uh, the, we are not aware of anything like it out on the market and we're very excited to, to use it. I'd like to show you our new Auto Canale products. There are three new models, all eight channels. Um, they are all two U units with two power supplies for redundancy of power supplies so you're not stressing all eight channels on a single power supply. There's no front actual knobs or in, there are indicators for each channel, but behind the cover we have volume pots for the eight different channels. So there's three new models. One is the 12K4, which is 1,500 watts a channel in the four, or roughly uh, 1,000 into 70 volt, 100 volt systems, which I'll show you in a minute. We have our 8K4, which is 1,000 watts a channel into four, times eight channels, and our 4K4, which is 500 watts a, a channel into four ohms. If we looked at the rear of the unit as a single plug, with a switching power supply. So it's 110 to 240 volts, any would do. We got large output connectors for the eight channels, 
and input connectors for the line level signal. We also have a second input, similar to our Dewey Canale and our other Auto Canale product, where you can hit it with 24 volts and it does a hard switch on the main inputs for like voice evacuation. We also have closure outputs to actually, uh, if there is a problem, to report it to perhaps a control system of some type through closures. Um, it is possible to leave the power switch on and send it 12 volts and it will turn off and go into a sleep mode as well. Um, the units are designed to run very low at idle current and it also has an energy save feature. Uh, the dip switches do a variety of things. Uh, we have four dip switches for each channel output. Uh, the first one basically is if it's high Z or low Z, so low impedance load or 70 or 100 volt load. Um, uh, and then the next two are a, are a, um, a, a high pass filter at 35 or 70 hertz.